I'm trying a new podcast segment called Sounds of the Ring. Cool, right? Problem is, the wrestlers keep ending up outside the ring, where I don't have any mics set up. I could buy more mics, or I could find some wrestlers who know how to stay in the ring. Know anyone? Time to get Mad Cat. The following contest is scheduled for one fall. Making his way to the ring from Minneapolis, Minnesota, weighing in at 220 pounds, Mad Cat Moss. Don't tell Corbin this, but I'm kind of liking Moss's new attitude. Well, his new attitude has already paid dividends. Mad Cat Moss won the 2022 Andre the Giant Memorial Battle Royal. There is pure aggression on the face of Mad Cat Moss. I cannot wait to see him compete. Take a good look at the new face of WWE. It's the lock. And his opponent from Munich, Germany, weighing in at 199 pounds, the WWE Intercontinental Champion, The Terror. Is The Lock equipped to handle the massive target that WWE put on his back with that name? We're about to find out tonight, Corey. Lock yourself to your seats. It's time for this man to go to work. Let's hope that Locke and Madcap Moss aren't claustrophobic because they're about to face off in the tightest of quarters in a match where neither are allowed to leave the ring. You say tight quarters, I say fight quarters, Michael. And I say come up with better material quarters, Saxton. I've seen Saxton thrown out of a few local bars like that before. Uh, please don't remind me, Corey. These men knew this match was going to be hard fought. And he's able to reverse. Seeing an answer for every move attempted. So much damage inflicted. The claw is in. Agonizing. Lifting them up. Relative ease. Followed up with a skin punch. Oh. It's gonna be agonizing for the arm. And Locke is really putting the pressure on. The Locke's showing that edge, that ruthlessness. Yikes, that don't even wake you up or knock you out. Seemed like a pretty easy day at the office right there. Never a doubt. Barely a moment's suspense. This one was about as lopsided as they come.
Otis and I are looking to add a new teaching assistant to the Alpha Academy, and you seem like you're struggling where you're at. How about a fresh new role with a hot new group? I'm gonna shoosh you right there, because I graduated school a long time ago. I do the shushing around here, funny man. Shoosh. Shoosh! Bro, I got a proposition for you. Want to trade titles? My 24-7 title that I just won off of R-Truth for your Intercontinental title? A trade? I haven't been here very long, but I'm pretty sure that's not how it works. Oh, come on, bro. You gotta learn to think outside the box, like so far out that the box never even existed. Kind of like your IC title shot. See you around. You ready to live a little and let me take a shot? Sure. You ready to let me take a shot at your 24-7 title? You've got yourself a deal. Should we schedule a surprise attack by the scooter rack at the loading dock? I'd say you might want to brush up on the definition of surprise, but I'm not interested in surprises. Let's make this an official title match on Raw. Center stage, baby. Let's go. It's the man who might transform WWE forever, The Lock. The following is scheduled for one fall and is for the 24-7 Championship! Introducing the challenger from Munich, Germany, weighing in at 199 pounds, the Terror! Guys, we finally crown a new champion here tonight. That's right, the title's been vacant for long enough. One of these superstars will be going home tonight as the new champion. The Lock has been handed the keys to WWE. Is he ready to drive? Bro, <laughs> yeah, and here comes the original scooter. And introducing the champion, representing RK Bro from Las Vegas, Nevada, weighing in at 216 pounds. The original Bro, Matt Riddle. Don't let the scooter fool you. Matt Riddle was a top mixed martial arts talent before arriving in WWE. Devastating strikes, brutal submissions, and he's added some high-flying attacks. Riddle can beat you in so many ways. Oh, well, there go the frogs. And it's now go time for the original bird. Well, Riddle's about to do what he does best, beat someone up and have a ton of fun doing it.
Hey, Corey, remember when I pinned you for this title? Shut up, Saxton. It takes a lot to surprise me these days, but this one's hard to wrap my head around. The IC champion is taking on Riddle in an official 24-7 title match on Raw. The lock certainly plays by his own rules. I just hope he knows what he's doing. Spoiler alert, he probably doesn't. Stop after stop after stop. Each of those boots seem to get heavier with each blow. Some serious damage. In full control of their opponent with more in mind. Disc is punch. Locke watching attacks left and right. And Riddle needs to trust his instincts here. Oh, my oh, goodness. From the ground up. Superhuman. No other way to say it, guys. That looked like it hurt a lot. Lifting their opponent back to their feet and up. Oh my! Discus punch! Close line! What impact! Those last hits rattled the champ. And his match. Blast off! Diving shoulder tackle! Uh oh! Look at this! He just tossed the leg! And Riddle in a bit of danger. The lock isn't holding anything back. For the championship! Just pure instinct at this point. The adrenaline is pumping, and the WWE Universe is on his side. Oh, man. Backbreaker. Seven champion you're referring to. Oh, look at him. Double fisting titles. They call him the lock for a reason, folks. Not sure he ever was a lock for the 24-7 title, though. But how many superstars can say they've held two titles in WWE at the same time? Yeah. Impressive. The 24-7 dual champion is taking a close look at Riddle in our truths number one contender match. Looks like the champ's seen enough. Wade, here comes Reggie from behind. Good thing we got the big screens out in the arena so that the WWE Universe can see this brawl for themselves. Oh, listen, the last thing these two are thinking about is an audience. If hate is too strong of a word, then these two dislike each other extremely intensely, in case you couldn't tell. Somebody's got to do something before somebody gets seriously injured back there. Just tossed. She could airline miles for that. In full control of their opponent with more in mind, disc is punch. 
He's got the answer for that one. Uh, arm bar. Punishing stretch. Here's the pin. Title on the line. The champ lifts his shoulder up before one there. Yeah. Oh, the lock gets yeah. caught with a counter. And he barely evades. A yeah. uh, flat out power into the scoop yeah. slam. And some effective offense with that one. Vicious right forearm. And I can see some blood coming from the face of Reggie. Look at this heel hook. This is how you punish your opponent, and he's enjoyed every minute of it. Stop in the arm. Targeted stomp to the arm. Targeting the arm with a big stomp. Yeah. <laughs> what a headbutt. Vicious. The power of a deadlift into a military press. Wow. Walking Incredible. around the ring. And a slam. Uh-oh. Look at this. He just tossed the leg. Uh-oh. Oh, the power, the strength of Dominator. For the win. One, two, three. What a win by the 24-7 champion to hold on to his second title. The dual champ may not have it for long, though. Here come Riddle and our truth hot on his heels. And now Reggie's back on his feet, too. Looks like he's not giving up his 24-7 dreams yet, either. The Intercontinental Champion will have his hands full defending his newest acquisition in a fatal four-way for the 24-7 title. Fatal four-way, 24-7? Obviously, I'm worried about all truth trying to keep all these numbers in his head. Well, I'm more worried about the defending champion. Seems to me he's losing focus on all this 24-7 stuff, and I don't think I'm the only one who feels that way. That power ball was absolutely worthy of both halves of its name. And an impactful display of offense we just witnessed there. Tried to make short work of things here. Oh, flying forearm. That'll turn your lights out. Sending a message, getting his shoulder up before two. The challenger eating up some damage. Uh oh. Look at this. Uh oh, he's right. He hits the head. Here's a pin for the title. And fat oh. kick out for the challenger. Starting to see the tolls of this match add up. Dominating shoulder tackle. As much fun as he has, when Riddle gets that look, you know it's business. Yeah. Oh. Personal than I'd like to be. 
This isn't the smartest thing to do. Antagonizing your opponent instead of attacking him. Running hard. Oh, fantastic. Somebody call that. The champion's down. The champion's down. Oh, my God. We're going to have a new champion.
was an efficient display of offense with that maneuver. Critical time for Truth to deliver that maneuver. Truth is so persistent. Keeps bringing the fight with no remorse. And oh my God! And that was a precisely measured attack. Oh, look at this! Show it off with a big flex. And then a pull and a stop right to the back. And we see the attention being put on the torso area. What a maneuver! Our official just took a big hit. Oh, come on. Let's keep it clean in there. Kick from behind. And he keeps his focus. The midsection. Here we go. Watch out. Oh, he got a close line. <laughs> Crucial moment. For sure, but hey, maybe he has something even bigger in battle plan. That's right, Truth. Put me into the cover of the title. New champion. New champion. So effective. Scary patterns starting to form as an upper area pin attack for the championship. And the rope will force a break. Must be he breaks the hole. Close takedown. He leaves the ring, and there's no countouts in this one. With a championship on the line. And he breaks up the pinfall. Let's keep fighting. Riddle with her. Ooh. So continues to be targeted. That could be disrupting the flow of air at this point. Oh, set down. Here we go. Uh oh. Flying their opponent's arm. Ah, oh, double stop right to the arm. Reggie taking a moment to see if the fans will show some love. This is not good at all. The I don't have you walking funny. Around and around we go. Tilt the world headset. Here's the pen to retain. I would love to know what made him think that was a good idea. And Reggie gets fended off. Oh, set down. Here we go. Uh oh. And he said, you're not getting me with that this time. Uh-oh. And there he is, Matt Riddle just put all the doubters to rest with that. The Intercontinental Champion will have his hands full defending his newest acquisition in a fatal throwaway for the 24-7 title. Fatal throwaway? 24 7. Honestly, I'm worried about all truth trying to keep all these numbers in his head. Well, I'm more worried about the defending champion. Seems to me he's losing focus and with all this 24 7 stuff, but I don't think I'm the only one who feels that way. He's outside the ring now. Hope he's got a plan. That maneuver goes to show you how much speed kills. Slide that long line. Oh, and a right hand for good measure. This gets for days. Challenger's a little worse for wear now. Yeah, but I think he's got a lot left in the tank, Cole, which he's gonna need to maintain if he wants to come out on top against these three other men. Just breaking down the opponent. And some effective offense for that one. Brought down with the bulldog. Agonizing. Spin kick to them. 
midsection. Agility like that is what can set you apart from the rest of the locker room. That's right, Truth. What's up? He's certainly lining it up, but he's wasting too much time. What goes up must come down, and it sure as hell did right there. There's a lot of hard ways to land, but that might be the hardest. Had that one scouted. Japanese on drag. On the button with a low drop kick. I can already feel the sting of the kendo stick, and I do not care for it. Put it down and nailed it. Oh, I can't quite get him there. Boom at the button. He's rummaging for some sort of equalizer underneath the ring. He's in back to the ring. Challenger. This match certainly has taken its toll. Keep it up with three other superstars will wear you down. Bulldog plants him. <laughs> Kick to the gut. Right around into a neck breaker. And one more reversal. Talk about evenly matched here. Truth sure caught by surprise. Shoulder tackle. See him take yet another shot to the body. Re-entering the ring now. Here's Truth sent hard to the outside. Oh. And Reggie is one step quicker. Oh, and that's by some time. Caught with a neck breaker. The challenger is not in a great place. This deep in... Shoulder tackle. 
Okay, he's re-entering the ring. A running hurt Colorado. Flying marijuana. That's how you impress. Riddle and our truth. 
Reunited with his titles, and it feels so good. You think he has a favorite? Well, it certainly feels like he's growing attached to that 24-7 title, if you ask me. Favorites or not, he's holding both titles in the air once again after another dominant yeah. performance. Otis and I are looking to add a new team. How about I shoosh you up in the ring instead? That's my thing, tough guy. Yeah, and that's your only thing. Which is why I'm fine where I'm at. My offer for a match still stands, though. I've got other business to attend to. But how about a match with my Alpha Academy associate, Otis? Tell the big man I'm in. You're on. Looking forward to seeing if you're half as tough as your words. The valedictorian of the Alpha Academy. The big man. The following contest is scheduled for one fall. Making his way to the ring, accompanied by Chad Gable, representing the Alpha Academy from Superior, Wisconsin. Weighing in at 330 pounds, Otis. Well, some would say Otis used to be an inspiration. Now he could not be less interested in the WWE Universe. He may not be interested, but Otis is inspired. Inspired to annihilate you, to end you with one move. That's the kind of power possessed by this man. Man, Otis is an amazing mass of humanity. He could probably crush any man in that ring. Well, this man looks to massacre who's ever in front of him. The man destined to be top dog. It's the lock. And his opponent, from Munich, Germany, weighing in at 199 pounds, the WWE Intercontinental Champion, The Terror. 
And guys, this looks to be a match with major implications here in WWE. Could change the entire landscape here. Anything can happen tonight. All's fair in lock and war. The Intercontinental Champion faces a grueling test tonight against one of the most physically imposing superstars in all of WWE, Otis. Surprisingly, according to backstage rumors, the Intercontinental Champion actually wanted to join Otis as the newest member of Alpha Academy. Gable confirmed those reports were revealed. They've decided to go in a different, much better direction. His words. We'll have to find out exactly what that means. Crank in the head. Oh, just deadlifting their opponent and tossing them aside. <laughs> I honestly can't believe we just saw a human being tossed like that. Oh, oh. hip drop. Pulverizing the arm is a great way to create an advantage, basically forcing your opponent to fight one-handed. Oh, man, check out this power. Shoulders oh, down, this could be it. And a kick out before even one there. That pin attempt might have been a tad premature. Oh, what a close. Can he do it here? And he gets his shoulder up before the count. Could be in search of a second win now. Uh, what a headbutt. Vicious. Oh, a shot right to the kidney. Oh. And again. Great way to wear down your opponent. That certainly wasn't pretty. And Otis was ready there. Oh, good punch. Nasty. Oh, that'll break his arm. Vicious. He's lost some of his win now. Oh, look at this. What a headbutt. Otis running into some trouble here. But Otis can't allow this to hinder him. And an impactful display of offense we just witnessed there. Boom, running in. T.O. plants him. Nicely done. Oh, headbutt. Oh, a shot right to the kidney. And again. Great win. Where is your opponent? Absolute statement by the victor here tonight. What a steamrolling.
Listen up, Shush. I don't want any more smoke and mirrors from you or Otis. Stay out of my match with Kulak. Oh, don't worry. Our new guy doesn't need any help. Wish I could say the same for you. I'll be just fine on my own. Believe me, everybody in WWE knows you'll be on your own. You guys haven't had your back since day one. None of you are on the same page. It's gonna make it all the easier for us to take their tag titles when the time is right. My guys trust me to handle my business. Not that you would know anything about trust. Here comes the technical terminator. A physical reckoning. And a consummate technician. The following is scheduled for one fall. Making his way to the ring from Philadelphia, Pennsylvania. Weighing in at 193 pounds. Drew Gulak. Don't judge Gulak by his somewhat smaller build. This is a dangerous, Dangerous individual. No shortage of fight at all in Drew Gulak. Drew Gulak has a distinctive reputation as a submission specialist. An incredibly high in-ring IQ and raw determination possessed by Gulak. It's the future of WWE, The Lock. And his opponent, from Munich, Germany, weighing in at 199 pounds, the WWE Intercontinental Champion, The Terror. Tensions riding high. Plans on getting things settled in the ring. I can't wait. The lock has been handed the keys to WWE. Is he ready to drive? Rumors have been swirling around Gable and Otis controversial recruiting for weeks, and tonight it all comes to a head between the IC champ and Drew Gulak. The Lock isn't just fighting Alpha Academy's newest member, he's fighting for the truth. Oh, quit being so dramatic, Saxton. Don't make me shush you. Placed into the corner. There's the clothesline. Splash. He's lost some of his win now. And the Lock's maintaining the advantage now. Yeah, the Lock is proving hard to keep up with. Yeah. Hoisted up into a backbreaker. And Looks still like holding on. There's more to come. A second. Champion is headed up to the top rope to put the finishing touches on Drew Gulak. Is that Otis? Where'd he come from? 
Low blow. <laughs> Alpha Academy is in full attendance. Now, Gulak looking to capitalize. One, two, three. And their cheap shot there just cost the Intercontinental Champion the victory. And now the three Alphas are laying into the IC Champion. Oh, where's the champ's backup? I can't watch this anymore, Cole. Finally, we've got some extra help out here to put an end to this brutality. The newest member of Alpha Academy, Drew Gulak, can certainly thank his partners for that unearned W. Well, I think Drew Gulak, Otis, and Gable just made their first big statement together. The new look Alpha Academy is ready to take the Intercontinental Champion to school. The following contest is a six-man tag team match. On the way to the ring, at a combined weight of 669 pounds, the Terror, Gabriel Slade and Randy Orton Evolution. Each of these competitors has incredible singles potential, but as a group, they may just be unstoppable. And 25 pounds. Chad Gable, Drew Gulak, and Otis, the Alpha Academy. The WWE Universe has been counting the days, hours, and minutes for this match to start, and the countdown is almost over. Evolution is looking to take the Alpha Academy to school tonight with a three-on-three -three matchup for the age. That's right, Michael. The Intercontinental Champion is finally getting some much-needed backup against Gable, Otis, and Gulak. Will Gabriel Slade and Randy Orton actually have the locks back, though? I don't think that's a lock at all. And that was an efficient display of offense with that maneuver. Big splash! He's absorbed some damage already. What makes a great tag partner, Cole, is knowing when to tag. We'll find out soon enough if he's even a good tag partner. Oh my goodness! Can Gable withstand much more of this? Gable has to gather the energy to turn the tables. Boom! <laughs> And he throws the opposition back into the ring. Oh, Suplex! Spine crushing. You are guaranteed to hit a steel beam out on the apron, and they definitely just felt all of it. Lifting their opponent back to their feet and a thunderous right hand. Momentum on the side of the lock. The lock isn't holding anything back. Oh, that didn't go as lock designed. Good kick. Nothing fancy there. Can't get more than a 
one count at this point. Oh, with authority! Oh! Oh, look at this. What a headbutt. And there's the company! He kicks out with force. Truly cannot believe that didn't even get a one count. And a tag there. Continuing to work on the arm with a, and a carefully measured knee drop. Golly, that could do permanent damage. Oof, Slade with a course correction. Oh, I missed you. I wanted to knee you in the face again. Oh, my God. Randy Orton with the tag. Gulak with a resolve in his eyes now. No thanks to the WWE Universe. to their feet and up under us. Does he get him here? Quick count out after one. I'm just as shocked as everyone else, Cole. His opponent included. Oh, the power! And there was some force on that move. Locke watching attacks left and right. The Locke's showing that edge, that ruthlessness. Power slam! Treating the torso to yet another attack. There's a tag. Opponent off the ropes. Oh, big back body drop. Measured elbow drop 
driven down. Gets 
the tag. Precarious position for both superstars. Oh, gosh. Back suplex on the apron. A back suplex. This is not looking good at all, guys. We don't see bodies get dissected like this. It's been a meticulous attack, and I question how much longer it can go on. It's a tough decision for the official to make here. Goes under the ropes to get back inside. He's going for the pin. This could be it. Oh, Referee oh. breaks the count. Looks like a rope break. Catches the kick. Drew Gulak has it cinched in the goo on the fly. Give up now. He got in there. Good save. Incoming. is set for a ride at Lance Hard. What's he preparing for? A uh, timely counter by Locke. And we might be about to go from commentators to participants in this one, fellas. celebrating like it was. I know you've got your own WWE doc going, but I need help getting some footage for one I'm working on. I'm highlighting superstars who got their start in MMA, like Shinsuke. Yeah, he's not the one who comes to mind first for me either. But I need new footage of him in an MMA style match for the doc. Can you help? Four, one fall, making his way to the ring from Kyoto, Japan, weighing in at 220 pounds, Shinsuke Nakamura. You can feel the electricity in here tonight, gentlemen. <laughs> Just an infectious energy when Shinsuke's around. The WWE fans love this entrance. Byron, Byron, Byron what are you doing? 
Well, Byron, get off the desk. Whoa, that's, the, that's the kicker shot. I'm trying to balance. Get down. It's the superstar who's a lock to be on top of WWE for years to come. And his opponent from Munich, Germany, weighing in at 199 pounds, the WWE Intercontinental Champion, The Terror. You are looking at some highly motivated competitors in this match. The Intercontinental Champion and Shinsuke Nakamura go toe-to-toe -to -toe in a fighter's delight. No top rope moves, no exiting the ring, and the only way to win is to knock out or submit your opponent. Both of these superstars are artists in their own right, Cole, and I'm expecting them to conjure up an MMA-style masterpiece here. Oh. Punch lands! He's got him here. He's got him up. And. Oh, oh it's soon. We could be seeing a submission here. The official, and he chooses to go to her. But just the amount of time he was in that submission could be very significant. Punching their way out of that one. Check this out. Oh, but effective. Look at this heel hook. This is how you punish your opponent, and he's enjoying every minute of it. Nice. Uh-oh. Nakamura, so elusive. Another reversal, eye for an eye here. He avoids the damage. One response after another. Back and forth we go. Oh, what a close line in the corner. He's looking a little weary now. Things should be at a tipping point here. It's tough to resist tapping out when you're hurting. Oh, he could be looking for a submission here. Submission hold in place, wrenching at the back. The king of strong style. And he lets him out of the submission hold. Could have been a strategic move to wear down that body part for something bigger later. Shark oh, what's coming here? Submission move being applied. And he locks in the Boston Crab. Tap out. Do it now. Live to fight another day. Time to hit the panic button. Look at this. He let it go. Curious decision there, Michael. Uh-oh. Their opponent's all but helpless right here. And knees just exerting dominance over their opponent. And now, and the follow-away slam. win. As always, Cole, you're more polite than I am, so I'll just say what we're all thinking.
This was as one-sided as it gets. 